this is another one of them funny examples of how you can do some of the most amazing things and have some of the most amazing things happen. Like synchronicities right in front of the parents three or four times in the same day, talking about cosmic stuff and explaining things to a point where I just can tell that they're, they understand it. Like my mom was so like, wow. She's like, can I have a hug and a kiss? And I just, I really enjoyed our time today because I could tell that she, she felt it and she heard it. And she's like, I mean, my mom is at the point where she, she says, and she doesn't want to sound stupid. I can feel it in her. I'm like, I know that you realize that I, I'm the Messiah, but how silly is that to say to somebody, you know? So we go from that to having this, such a meaningful time. And then we're sitting down and I'm talking to them both about stuff. My dad's looking back at the TV while these, they're sitting there eating and I'm sitting there with them, you know. And they're sitting there eating and my dad keeps looking back at the TV and I'm saying all, like meaningful stuff. And out of nowhere he's like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh. I thought he was like commenting on something I said. And I'm like, what? And he goes, oh, uh, they, they, this kid overdosed and they're trying to figure out what drugs, what pill it was that he took. <laughs> because he's watching a, an old TV show called One Adam 12 or something like that. And like, I'm thinking to myself, like, dude, what, what are you doing? Why? And, like, your son is enlightened, telling you, sitting right in front of you while you're eating garbage food and watching television shows about cops from the 70s and 60s. I mean, this kind of stuff makes no sense, but, hey, whatever. So then, on top of that, later on in the day, they're watching this show to tell the truth. And I'm, like, I came out, I came out for the first time in the, in the night just to say goodnight to him kind of thing and tell him about some of the interesting stuff that I was writing about tonight to put down because I'm writing all the endless information that I have to tell the world. So I wanted to come out and tell him. And I started talking. My mom was really interested in listening. And then my dad was trying to hear on, to tell the truth, which one of the three people was the real munchkin in The Wizard of Oz? Which one played the munchkin? And they're talking about this bald black lady who has a earring in her nose or a piercing in her nose. And they're like, oh, these people and these people. I'm like, well, it's just whatever. But, you know, it's, it's really nothing to be showcased. The, the, all this stuff is sort of pointless. And my dad's like listen, trying to listen to it. And I'm talking to my mom. And she's really interested. And I can see it in her face. She's really listening to this deep stuff I'm saying. And my dad's like, damn it. He does this kind of noise like, like he's trying to, like, and I could tell it's because he was trying to hear the TV. And he missed one of their their answers so that he couldn't hear the the, the laugh or the joke so he could he heard him laughing but didn't hear the joke he's like damn it and i'm like i didn't say anything i just immediately just stopped talking and just went outside because i'm like there's there's no point of of letting that bother me but at the same time it does as you can see i mention a lot of them i love my dad so much i just can't believe that you can be vastly vastly enlightened and people will just look at you and go like, wow, that's interesting. I'm more interested in watching the stupid garbage. Oh, my son is giving me cos cosmic patterns. My brain doesn't want to understand this. He's my son and I say I love him. But if he gets in trouble and, you know, uh, the world doesn't take him seriously and he gets thrown in jail, that's okay. I just don't want to miss my jokes. I'm like, it, that, literally, that's not what he's saying. And he doesn't, I, I just don't know the level of depth some people's minds go to when it's like, I'm saying mystical, magical stuff right in front of you and making sense of it. And, and you're watching a, a TV show and you're laughing about 80-year-olds who played the munchkins in The Wizard of Oz. I'm like, I just don't get how this can continue every day. And I even, I even mention, like, to both of them, all this stuff, everything about God, Christ, the beginning of time. And they've heard it. They look at me and they go, that makes a lot of sense. Wow. And then they just go doo -doo -doo -doo, back on everything else. I mean, a lot of it they can't understand because they can't see it, the patterns. I'm trying to explain it in words and symbols, which is a lot more difficult than you would think when you actually know what it is because it doesn't take words and symbols to do it, but I'm trying to do it with that. And it's difficult. But on top of that, with the accuracy that I have at everything I explain, it may be too in-depth for some people, but there's accuracy to it. it. It just gets kind of weird when I, I, I'll say something right to somebody and they look at me and go, wow, that makes a lot of sense. I never thought of that before. I never heard of that. Or wow, I never knew that. And then they go, well, that's an interesting commercial. And I'm like, oh my goodness, this is wow. But that's all I'm going to say about it. I'm not trying to complain. It's just pointing out that I'm, I say it about my dad because I'm sure that a lot of people are doing this. And a lot of people that are starting to wake up are seeing this around them. And they're like, how can I be in this world where everybody's that numb? They just don't care. 
They think they do. And at a certain point, they do. Nothing against them. But oh my goodness, man. So anyway, that's all for now. Peace.